Jack goes to the market to buy a fruit juice. There he sees two types of drink packs available in a shop: a tetra pack and a bottled juice. Hmm, which one should I buy? You should buy me because I am long. No, I'm long, so you should buy me. Oh, I am confused. What does this long mean? Hi, I am Mango. Can I help you with this problem? Hi, Mango. I am Jack. I want to buy a fruit drink, but I am unable to decide which one should I buy. Tetra Pak wants me to buy him because he is long. The bottle also wants the same. But what does this long mean? Let's see how Mr. Mango helps Jack. Jack, every object has certain attributes which can be measured. Let's understand these attributes. One such attribute is length. It is the distance from one end to the other end of an object. It tells you how long an object is. You can measure it with the help of a string or a matchstick. I am measuring the length of this glass with the help of matchsticks. Jack, can you tell me how many matchsticks I've used? Yes, two matchsticks. Correct. So this glass is two matchsticks long. Another attribute is the weight. Jack, here are two books. Lift each book one by one. Jack lifts each book one by one. Jack. Which one of the two books was difficult for you to pick up? The red book. Right, Jack. But why? Because the red book has more weight and is heavy, and the green book has less weight and is light. So it means the weight of an object. Tells whether an object is heavy or light. Yes, exactly. You can measure the weight of an object with the help of a balance. Jack, keep these books on either side of the balance. Now, can you tell me which one is heavier? The red book. Excellent, Jack. How did you know? The side pan with the heavier book moved down due to more weight, which causes the lighter book side pan to move up. Very good observation, Jack. The next attribute is the capacity. It is the amount of material an object can hold inside it, Jack. Can you guess the amount of water this bottle can hold? No, I can't. Okay, let me explain it to you. I am taking an empty glass and a small vessel filled with water. Now I am filling this glass with water and pouring it in the bottle. I will repeat this. Till the bottle is completely filled with water. Now you can see that the bottle can hold five glasses of water. So, its capacity is five glasses.